All right, hello folks. So welcome back. If you have been with me during this Let's Learn the Notes on the Guitar series, um, then you know we've learned the notes E, A, D, G, and B. Uh, those are represented by all our open strings. And we've put them into a line um, E, G, A, B, D, E. Um, and we played that uh, horizontally and vertically. Um, and that represents the E minor pentatonic and the G major pentatonic scales. So that means that we have two more natural notes to learn, and that's the notes F and the note C. And before we get into where those notes are on the guitar, I think it's important to understand how the guitar is set up um, in relation to how music works. And so every note in Western music is separated by some kind of distance. And in Western music, we measure those distances in half steps and whole steps. The guitar is set up in half steps. And so if I play like this note here, E, and I go to the first fret, then I've just moved one half step. If I go from the first step, first fret to the second fret, I've moved one half step. But if I move from the first fret to the third fret, I've moved a whole step. It's the distance of two half steps, okay, equals a whole step. So some of the notes that we've learned are separate, most of the notes we've learned are separated by whole steps. For example, G at the third fret to A at the fifth fret, that's a whole step. A to B is a whole step. D to E is a whole step. Open E to the note G is actually what we call a minor third. It's a half step plus a whole step. But the notes F and C are only a half step away from the note that comes before it. So here's how that works. The note E is here. The note F is at the first fret. It's a half step away. Go up an octave. The note E is here. The note F is at the 13th fret. Okay. And that's true all over the guitar. So wherever you find an E, the note F is literally one fret above it. So seventh fret, E. Eighth fret is F. Second fret, E. Third fret is F. Ninth fret, E. Tenth fret is F. Fifth fret, E. Sixth fret is F. Open E. First fret is F. Twelfth fret, E. 13th fret is F, okay? So you can go through and practice playing E to F. That's not a bad thing to do. Just like put on a little B and play E to F. And go through and do that. That's a good thing to do. The next note, though, that we need to know about is C. And um, C is the other natural note that is only a half step away from the note that precedes it. So the note B comes before C. The note B is at the seventh fret of the lowest string. The note C is right here at the eighth fret. So B to C. On your A string, the note B is at the second fret. The note C is at the third fret. On the D string, the note B is at the ninth fret. And the note C is at the tenth fret. Then on the G string, the note B is at the 4th fret, and the note C is at the 5th fret. On your B string, the note B is open, 2nd fret, or 2nd string, B is open, 1st fret is C. And then if we move all the way up to the 12th fret, there's B, and the 13th fret is C. And on the high E string, 5th fret is B, I mean 7th fret, sorry, 7th fret is B and then the eighth fret will be C. And so once again, you can go through and you can do that, and I highly recommend it. Another thing you could do is you could play all of the natural notes in a line on each string. And so you could do something like this. E, open, F, first fret, 
G, third fret, A, fifth fret, B, seventh fret, C, eighth fret, D, tenth fret, E, twelfth fret, and then go backwards. E, D, eighth fret is C, seventh fret is B, fifth fret is A, third fret is G, first fret is F, open is E. And you can do that on each string. I think that's a really good thing to do. In the coming videos, I'm going to make an all the notes on the neck in horizontal fashion, all the notes on the neck, natural notes, not you know, the sharps and flats. We'll do that in yet another video. Um, and then a vertical video. And they'll just be to play them. So um, be on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, practice finding E and F and B and C. All right? Have a good day, and we'll see you next time.